Okay, the third kind of quadratic word problems is referred to as the revenue question. The revenue question is always going to equal the product of two things. The price of individual items times by the quantity. Okay. And you can tell by reading the question and they always going to give you a dollar amount, which is the price, and then they always going to give you a quantity. So in this particular case, by scanning the question, you can quickly see $10 her uh, photograph and she usually sells about 30 photographs so simply you put 10 into the dollar side and you put 30 into the quantity side because this is a dollar amount and that's the quantity okay so sherry is selling some baseball cards basketball cards and hockey cards right uh, that's not going to be allowed with COVID 19 going on right now and then they will give you another statement in terms of uh, like some sort of survey or investigation or looking at data. Sherry finds that for every time that she reduces her price by 50 cents, so instead of selling $10, $9.50, she would get an additional two customers buying photographs of her. So now the next step is how do I turn that into an equation? So you pay attention to the wording. It says each reduction in price. So reduction is subtracting. Reduction, reduction of how much? Reduction of 50 cents. Each reduction of 50 cents, she can sell additional two photographs. So she's selling more additional more by two. So more by two, meaning this is going to be plus two. So every reduction of 50 cents, she's going to sell two more photographs. And then you add in the letter X right at the end. And the X represent the number of increases, or in this case, the number of reductions. Okay. So your equation therefore becomes the revenue is equal to 10 minus 0.5x because those two are dollars, $10.50, and 30 plus 2x, those are quantities, 30 photographs and two additional photographs. So that's the model of part A. Part B, at what price will Sherry's revenue be 100 and $50. Again, two types of question. One type of question, they give you the revenue and ask you for the price. Well, any, anytime you're getting those kind of question, you're going to substitute the revenue right into R. Okay, so this kind of question is a little harder because there's a little bit more work. It's not too bad. So what you have to do, you would have to expand the right-hand side by using foil. So I'm going to get 3,000, sorry, 300, not 1,000, 300. Two times 10, that's 20X. Negative 0.5 times 30, that's minus 15X. Negative 0.5 times 2X. That's going to be native x square. Okay. 300, 20, 15, 1. You still have the 150 on this side. Again, I'm going to bring everything to one side, but I like the x square to be positive. So I'm going to bring everything to the left. This is plus 5x. So bring to the other side would be minus 5x. This is plus 300. When I bring it to this side, it becomes minus 300. So 150 minus 300 is minus 150. Now we want to see if this is a uh, factorable. 10 times 15 would give me um, 150 and 10 minus 15 would give me negative five. So I can actually factor this, which is X minus 15, X plus 10. So this bracket means X is equal to 15 
And this bracket means x is equal to negative 10. Okay, now what does that mean? Does it mean they sell for $15 and $10? Nope, no, no, that's not what it means. So in the first case, x is equal to 15. So you have to find, find the price and the quantity when x is equal to 15. Well, what's the price again? Price is $10 minus 0.5x. $10 minus 0.5 times, whoops, what just happened here? I didn't want to draw a straight line. $10 minus 0.5 times X, which is 15. So that means you reduce your price 15 times, which is $2.50. So that's pretty cheap. And because it's pretty cheap, you're actually going to have a lot of people buying the photographs, right? It's 30 plus two times X. So every reduction, you're going to get two customers. So 15 reduction, you're going to get 30 more customers. So 30 plus 30 is going to be 60. Here, the total revenue is going to be $2.50 times 60, which would give you $150, which we expected because that's what it says. If the revenue is $150, what's the price? Well, it's going to be $250. Well, that's only what the first case scenario. What about the second case? The second case here says X equal negative 10. Well, that means the price is going to be 10 minus 0.5 times negative 10. Now, what does that mean? That means you're actually adding. So this is actually $15 per picture. That's quite expensive. It is because it's expensive, the quantity becomes 30 plus two times negative 10. So you don't, you lost like 20 customers. You can only sell 10 photographs. But what's the new revenue in that case? It's $15 times by 10 photograph, you still get $150, right? So yes, you can sell it by $2.50 or you can sell it for $15. One, you sell a lot. The other, you don't sell a lot, but you get the same amount of revenue of $150. So the question said, at what price will her revenue be $150? Well, they can either sell it for $2.50 or $15. Both of those two scenarios will give you the amount of $150. Okay, so this, that's the first kind of question we can ask, which is, giving you a particular revenue and you sub in for R and you solve using quadratic formulas, factoring or whichever way you like, okay? Another question that we like to ask, which is something that I personally am more interested about is at what price will her revenue be the maximum, right? If you want doing a business, you obviously want to maximize the profit. And that's actually an easier question than part B. So let me copy and paste the um, equation to the other side. Open up a new slide, put the equation down. If I want to find the maximum revenue, it's actually an easier question. To find the maximum, what you want is you want to first of all find the two zeros. So you set each of the two brackets equal to zero and you'll find the two x-intercepts. So here 10 equal to 0.5x, x is equal to 20. In this case, 30 plus 2x equal to zero, 2x equal negative 30, x equal minus 15. So those two are the two x-intercepts which will make the revenue zero. Now, I don't want zero. I want the maximum. The maximum is going to happen at the axis of symmetry, which is the p-value. How do I find the p-value again? Average of those two. So 20 
plus negative 15 divided by 2 is going to be 2.5. So the best is when you reduce the price by 2.5 times. So the price, remember, was $10 minus 0.5 times 2.5. So if you take out your calculator, this is going to be 1.25. So you should sell your photographs at $8.75. And therefore, the quantity, wait a minute, sorry, is it plus or minus? It is minus, okay. 0.5x, yeah. And the other is 30 plus 2x. 30 plus 2 times 2.5. And at this price point, you're going to be able to sell 35 photographs. And the revenue is going to be 35 photographs times $8.75, which would give you a overall revenue of $306 and 25 cents. And that would be the best case scenario. Okay, how do you find the maximum revenue? You find the two zeros by setting the two brackets equal to zero separately, solve for the value of X. Those are the two X intercepts. Then you find the P value, the axis of symmetry by finding halfway between those two points. That's the value of X that's going to maximize the revenue. So you put in to find your respective price and the respective quantity. This question asks for what price is going to maximize the revenue. Well, the price that you should set would be $8.75.